Hello, hello, hello. I believe we are actually live. <laughs> woo, woo. This is excited to be here to interview an amazing, amazing woman who is on fire. I'm trying not to give it all away <laughs> right now, um, but I'm sure a faith with us and join us share it share it share it out join us and i i'm just many of you know we have our level empowerment and we have a certified life it is an amazing program we've already gone through and they're doing some amazing work in the community on and introduce to you all pamela good Lee. afternoon Hello, i'm pamela. doing well How it's a pleasure you? to see you again Good afternoon. I'm doing well. It's a pleasure to see you again. A little feedback. So I'm going to, I'm going to work on that feedback so we can get rid of that. Okay. And there we go. Yes, it is. As long as you can hear me, I think we are good. All right. Um, bear with me what's going on here because we do have a little feedback. All right. Let's see. Bear with me one here because we do have a little feedback. Okay. Yes. Okay, perfect. So th thank you so very much for any news that are going on, but I think we got to clarify. <laughs> I want to give you a few minutes to tell everyone uh, what your background has been and then- Okay, awesome. Good afternoon. My name is Public Service. I worked in state and local government over 25 years in human resources. My background has been in human resources with policy, employment law, recruiting, as well as administration. And I recently, as I said, recently retired. So I am in the next transition of my life. And with the PWIM program, I obtained my life coach certification and I'm just excited to launch this new venture. PWIM program, I- I love it. I absolutely I love it. So what caused you to want to become a certified life coach? Well, throughout my professional career and even in life itself, I've always been a good listener. People would come to me for advice, family, friends, and even in my role in human resources, I was the go-to person that employees as well as directors would often come to for advice if they had problems. And with that, in this next phase, as I stated, being a retiree, it just seemed like the perfect fit. And after I saw the promo or the webinar from you, Ms. Sharice, it just intrigued me. And I felt that your program was different from others in that it wasn't just technical, but I could feel the passion and the connectivity with those who were a part of that webinar that night, that it wasn't just mundane and the regular documentation, but also a sense of belonging and the support, the personal aspect. I think that was the most important thing that attracted me to PWIN. I love it. Thank you for sharing that because that's been our goal, right? We, we want people to feel supported. We want people to have a rounded experience as you're obtaining your certification because then you're going out there and you're helping to transform lives, but you need what you need and support to be able to do that. And so tell us a little bit about your niche. As a life coach, what are you going to be focusing on and who would be your ideal client? Okay, my niche will be self-empowerment in terms of one, realizing their potential, but not only their potential, but to help them get out of the box and realize that they can obtain their goals. My niche is going to be resume reviews in addition to career growth and development for one who may be thinking about changing occupations or even for the individual who's transitioning such as myself as a recent retiree and they may want to enter the workforce again or for the new people who are entering the employment arena. So I think that that's what makes your coaching business unique and a little different. I'm excited to have you entering into the, the world of coaches. I think that you are absolutely needed. So how can people, what can they expect when they decide to work with you? 
Um, I love the name of your coaching business. So share that and how you came up with that name. And then what can people expect when they're working with you? Uh, what, okay. what would they be experiencing within themselves that would cause them to reach out to you as their coach? Sure. Well, Leak of Faith was um, the genesis of it came about in terms of me trying to think of something that would connect with people that would help them remember, okay, when I contact this person, I'm going to remember the name. So when we think about faith, what is faith? The sense of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So we may have hope, but we never take that leap or that push or that nudge in order to go to the next level. So with my name, Leak of Faith, I just decided to put that together. And initially people may think leap of faith, but when you think of leak of faith, Pamela Leak is going to help you not only become a better person, but also think outside the box as I mentioned before. And in my coaching business, I'm going to not just give them tools and resources, but we're going to work together. This is going to be a partnership. And as a life coach, when you think about in practice, then once they get on the court, they implement that. So with the coaching business, we're going to implement practices and procedures. I'll be giving them tools and workbooks in order for them to write them down, write the vision, make it plain, and then we're going to follow up. And in that, I will also provide a journal in order for us to have follow-up and feedback. And we're going to have that as a part of our coaching process. I love how you have it all laid out. And I am absolutely... I think you are so creative in your name. I mean, when you talk about branding, uh, you have done an amazing job in branding and helping people to be able to make that connection with your coaching business and your coaching platform. Uh, and it's exciting. It's absolutely exciting. And I think that when people realize that they're going to transition, because transition is one of the the hardest thing for us to go through. Yeah, you know, I just did a podcast talking about when you exit, you have to exit something in order to enter into something else. And that's a transition. Whether you're transitioning in a relationship, transitioning in your career, transitioning from one state to another state, transition happens. That's how we get to the next level. And a lot of times people think that they have to do it by themselves, but they can reach out to a coach. They can yes. reach out to a life coach, a transition coach, as I like to call them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they can get help so that they have support in that process. And they're not just kind of blindly out there going through the transition because transition can be difficult. Mm -hmm. Yes. It, it can be very hard. It can be very lonely. It can be, you know, what is the, what is the greatest obstacle that maybe you found as people are transitioning from one season into another season in their lives? What do you think the, the biggest obstacle is and how do people get past that? I think the biggest obstacle is having that can-do spirit to realize within yourself that I can do this, regardless of the obstacles and the things you may face. You may not have the money, you may not have the time or think you have the time, but until you do it, you don't know. And I remember a quote where the biggest failure is not in trying, not in doing, but not in trying, because if you never do it, you don't know if you're going to fail or not. So I think the biggest obstacle, especially having worked in human resources, I work with individuals who wanted to apply for a promotion, but they felt, well, I don't have the skill level. I don't have the certification. And many times supervisors may work with the individual and allow them to obtain that on a trial basis or prob probational basis. And then they may re realize the full potential of that salary, but at least open the door for them to do that. I love that. I absolutely, that's so true. That's, that's so valid. So how can people find you if they want to connect with you and learn more information, if they want to work with you, if they want to hire you as their coach, if they want to be able to, you know, maybe 
have a conversation and see if there's a good fit. How can people get in touch with you? Uh, currently, I'm working on my branding and I will have a separate website for my business, but you can find me on Facebook. I am on Instagram, pleague one but on Facebook, you can find me there. And in the meantime, I will be launching the business, so be on the lookout for that. I'm in the process, as I mentioned, as far as my branding material, but in the interim, I am just getting my own tools and my tool kit ready so I will be able to work with my clients. And I'm excited for this because as an educator also, as I am coaching my clients, it's going to be a learning process for me. So we are going to be learning together. I look forward to this venture. And p Win has definitely given me some tools. And Sharice, I may be ahead of myself, but I will talk about how that was a foundation for me as well. Do you have an email that they can reach out to you and then you're not getting ahead? Go ahead and talk about your experience and the venture. And if you have an email that they can reach out to you at. Okay. My email address is leak, L-E-A-K-E-P as in Paul, 06 at gmail.com. Okay. My email address and then let's talk a little bit about, you know, I always say that our courses for the life coaching program, that they're robust. Um, they can be very uh, informational. It covers a lot of ground because it was important to me that you had life coaching essentials, but that you also had some business courses in there and that you had kind of had a well-rounded experience in your coursework. And then, of course, we have our monthly support uh, Zooms that we have where our master instructor, Toya Ford, she leads yes. those monthlies. Um, but we make ourselves available to either talk about planned topics or whatever you all may need as far as support, whatever questions, whatever needs you have. How has that process been for you in preparing you for this amazing role in your next season? <laughs> Thank you for asking. The program is robust, as you said, but I will tell you, and for those who may think about um, entering PWIN and taking those courses, it would definitely allow you to do a self-reflection because having worked in human resources, there were so many things that I was doing that there was no name for at the time. And I can tell you that mindfulness, that was one of my favorites. I liked that one so much because it helped me see not only how I related to people, but also how that interaction affected my response to them. So that was one of my favorite courses. In addition to that, the program itself, I told Sharice when we first had our follow-up conversation after I finished my modules, I did not know they were that long. <laughs> but it was so fun because like I said, it allowed me to see myself. I think I have about three notebooks full of notes, but it was just so enlightening, encouraging, and inspirational. And I would definitely be going back to review those um, informational items, even after I launched my business, because it has helped me in so many ways on a personal level, as well as a professional level. So kudos to you and the team for selecting that assessment material. Thank you so much. And what I appreciate, I can tell that you have a, a, a background in education and human resources because Pamela was on it. She was sending me little notes. Okay, I found this here and I found this here, which is wonderful because it allows us to strengthen. But I said, okay, she ain't playing. I said, she is on this. And I love it because I know you're reading the material. I yes. know you're going through the process. And so I absolutely loved it. I love the interchange. I just, I love having you a part of the certification program, and I always look forward to our first Mondays of the month, yes. um, because that's really iron sharpening iron. You know, exactly. whether you are in the process of taking the courses, whether you've already 
graduated and you're already walking in your coaching business, we all need to be able to sharpen one another yes. and come together and bounce ideas off and, you know, get what we need. Because at the end of the day, for PWIN, we want you to be massively successful because that means that you're helping to transform the lives of yes. those in our community. And you're helping exactly. people be able to transition and go into their next season in their life. And it is so rewarding and fulfilling. So congratulations, Pamela. Thank you. Um, I am just, I'm, I'm honored to have kind of maybe a second row seat to see your coaching business come to fruition. And I can't wait to see the impact that you make um you know you're on the east coast um, yes. and that's the other thing that i love is that we have um participants that are all across the nation i love it uh, so if people want to get with you in person you are on the east coast but also they can connect with you virtually so yes. you are available no matter where they are correct yes that's correct so we, I am on the East Coast and I am willing to travel. Um, we just have to network and discuss some logistics regarding that, but that is not excluded. That is an option. I, am on the East Coast I love it. She said, and I will travel. <laughs> not a problem. We can work it out. I will be yes. on a plane. I will be where <laughs> I need to be. I love it. It's no problem at all. Just let me know. Y'all know I love somebody ready to travel. Let me pack this bag and we can make this happen. I got you no matter where you are. And I absolutely love that. Uh, as we get ready to wrap up, Pamela, I just, I want to give you a couple uh, minutes here to just really say what you may want to say to people in regards to transition. Leave them with an encouraging word and leave them with your email address one more time so they know how to get in touch with you. And thank you so much for jumping on this interview with me. Uh, I definitely want people to connect uh, you all, Pamela is, is an outstanding, phenomenal woman. So connect with her just on that level. Uh, definitely, if you're going through transition, she is the coach for you. Uh, so don't hesitate to reach out to her. Um, but Pamela, I'm going to turn it over to you for a couple minutes. Make sure you leave them with your email address. And then just give the people a word of encouragement if they may be going through a season of transition right now. Sure. Thank you, Sharice. I want to thank you for all of your support and encouragement throughout this process. It has been wonderful and phenomenal working with you. And to the viewers who are tuning in right now or may tune in later, I just want to share a word of encouragement that it is not too late. Your season has come. And why not take a leap of faith, a leap of faith, because God is not through with you yet. You, in spite of the obstacles and things that you may feel have occurred or may have caused you a setback, that is just a setup for your blessing. And one of the things that I would do during my life coaching sessions is just to encourage my clients. But not only that, when you work with me, it is not just going to be a client and a coach but we will form a relationship. One of the things that I value is the fact that when people meet me and when I network with others, it is a venture for life. So this is going to be a collaborative relationship. I will be working with you, not for you, because we're going to be in this together. And I'm going to help you achieve your aspirations because it is my vision that I provide the resources you need for an abundant life. You can reach me at leak, L-E-A-K-E, P as in Paul, 06 at gmail.com and be on the lookout for my future logo and all the other things that I am so excited to share with you. So I look forward to seeing you all very soon. Again, congratulations, Pamela. I love it. I love everything that you're doing. Thank you for taking this time out 
We had several people viewing. Thank you for those awesome. who joined live. Um, also, this video will be on YouTube. Um, so people definitely will be able to catch the replay. And if okay. they missed your contact information, they'll be able to get it. Um, thank you. Thank you so much, Pamela. Thank you to everyone thank you. who joined us live. Go be great and enjoy the rest of this weekend and the week. Uh, we just deeply appreciate you. Remember that you can always reach PWIN at mypwin.org, M-Y-P-W-E-N.org. And we have a ton of information and resources on the website yes. for you. Um, blessings to all of you. And thank you for joining us. All right. Have a blessed day.